the development of a baby's brain is a very interesting process. That humans are born with a lot of potential that's built in neurologically, but that potential must be activated. So the concept of neuroplasticity means that the brain structure, the synaptic connections are altered as a function of the experiences that get through the different doorways into the brain. So the ear is the doorway to the brain for auditory information, and the eyes, for example, are the doorway to the brain for visual. Seeing occurs in the brain, hearing occurs in the brain. Now, what hearing means to a child, how that brain is organized around sound, depends on the auditory experiences that child has received. The potential is there to link auditory events to spoken communication, but the exposure that that child's brain has to spoken language, to literacy, to music, all of that exposure will determine how the child's pathways will be developed. And we know for all children that their, their child's competence and knowledge of their language depends on the richness of the language they receive in their home environment. So what the brain receives will determine what the child knows. Hearing is the foundation of cognition because it's the information that gets through this doorway that develops the brain's synaptic connections with knowledge. If their child has a hearing loss, which we can talk about as a doorway problem, then the information from the environment is limited unless we use technology, which means the information that gets to that child's brain will be limited as a function of the doorway's capacity. So to develop the child's capacity, their auditory brain centers, we need to, number one, get information through that doorway, and if there's a doorway problem, a hearing loss, we must use technology, and then there needs to be an enrichment of talking, reading, and singing to develop that child's auditory cognitive capacity.